Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited to be sharing a what's in my bag and review on the Dior Caro bag, which I have right here. So I'm gonna be sharing everything that fits inside, my review of all the pros and cons of this bag, and my overall thoughts on if I regret it or if I love it. And before we get started, definitely don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy it and to show the support of this video. And if you enjoy the designer bag reviews, I know I used to do a lot more of these on my channel when I was like first starting out. And these are some of my favorite videos to watch of like what people have in their bags. It's just super fun to see all the different ideas and different things inside. And then I also love like reading bag reviews, of course. And I didn't see a whole lot on this particular bag here on YouTube when I went to search it. So um, I thought this would be helpful to some if you're on the fence about this bag and give all the details. All right, so let's start on a quick overview of the bag. The bag is called the Dior Caro bag. And this is a relatively newer bag. So I was first introduced to this bag because my mom got this bag back in November of 2021. And I'm gonna get more into this in a little bit, but long story short, um, I just loved like all the different outfits she was able to wear this with. And it just always like, was such a pretty looking bag that I'm like, okay, I definitely should get it. So um, this is definitely not a new bag to me because I have borrowed my mom's bag a few times. She was super kind to let me borrow it. So quick overview on the bag. This is in the small size. This does come in medium. I wanna say even large in the store at least. And then a micro size. So I got the small. I was considering the medium, but overall I feel like for my frame, I thought the small looked a lot um, better. I feel like the medium would just be a little too big, especially to wear crossbody. So that's mainly why I got the small and you'll see how much fits inside. You'll be surprised. And then on the back, it has, um, all the detailing here. I'll have some close up shots of it, but has a little flap back here, which I don't use currently, but you totally can put like a little receipt or something in the back there. Um, your phone would stick out if you did put it in there. I mean, it, you could do that, but your phone would stick out. And then it does have the chain strap. I have seen someone say that you could like unhook this chain link somehow. I have never done it. And to be honest, I don't know if I ever would because I kind of just like it how it is, but I did want to share that detail. And then also has some adjustments for the strap as well, which I still have the plastic covering on. I don't know if any of you guys do this as well, but sometimes I just like keep it on until it just kind of like falls off the bag just to protect it as long as possible. And then, um, yeah, so you could wear it so many different ways, which I will get to um, near the end of this video, like some modeling shots of wearing the bag so you could see how it looks on me and different ways you could wear it. And then it has in the front right here, a twist lock closure. This bag I did get in the Rose Devance color. I think it's such a beautiful, perfect shade of dusty rose. I do have the Dior, the Lady Dior bag in um, this like more mauve tone. So I just wanted to share because you could see the difference in colors here. This is definitely a true mauve and this is definitely a pretty rosy pink color. It's very neutral. Um, and I just think this shade is absolutely gorgeous. This does come in a few other color options. I saw white, I saw like a gray that almost looks like a powdery blue. And then I also saw black. I'm trying to think of any other colors, but I'll have them all listed and I'll have this exact bag linked below because I know this has been sold out, but they just restocked it. I'm gonna share more details on this color in the review portion but I'm gonna share what's inside. So as you open it, you just twist um, this little lock right here and then it flaps open just like so. And here's what the inside looks like. It's pretty stuffed. Um, you have to be strategic, I will say, with packing this. So um, as you'll see, I kind of have everything um, like in a full on puzzle. There's my um, hair clip. So I guess we'll start with that. I have like a little hair clip. It's like a creamy and gold color. I just think it's like a nice elevated hair clip. So if you want to pull your hair back, it still kind of like completes your outfit. So I have that as well as a hair scrunchie because if your hair sometimes just gets in your face and even in like when you're heading home or something, you just want to tie your hair back or if it's like super windy, you just want to throw in like a low messy bun. This is handy. Um, I have my slip silk scrunchie. That's literally pretty much all I use is they don't rip out my hair. Up top here, I have my lip liner. So this is the Rare Beauty lip liner. Uh, this has been in heavy rotation with a few other lipsticks in my lipstick collection, but this is like one of my top worn ones. And love the lip liner. And then I have the matching lipstick right in here. Just kind of showing where I'm pulling things from. So here's the lipstick, it's in the prettiest packaging. It's like blush pink and gold, like a champagne gold. All you do to open it is press the bottom 
and then it pops open and I'm wearing the shade Humble and I have the matching lip liner as I said and also the shade Humble. It is so creamy, but yet it's a matte finish, which I feel like is very hard to find that kind of formulation. So amazing formula and it was relatively like inexpensive compared to some Sephora lipsticks. So I think the lipstick was only like 20 and then the lip liner was like 15, so really great. And um, they like stay all day for me too, which I love. All right, moving on. I do have hand sanitizer. I just got this particular scent recently. Um, I love the Touchland um, hand sanitizer mist. I was introduced to them when I was in Palm Beach and I used like the On Scented for a while and now I got this one. It's in Glow Mist, it's called. This is in the prettiest packaging ever. Um, I probably prefer the On Scented the most, but of course, like this one is just so aesthetically pretty. I mean, this one does smell like, like rose petals and it is really pretty, but if you don't prefer a scent, then I would just go On Scented. But if you want like a nice like feminine scent, um, something girly, I would go with this Glow Mist and it makes your hands feel so moisturized too. And you just like, it's like the perfect like stacking. You can stack a bunch of them if you collect them. They're just so cute. Okay, and then I have my phone that's well in here. This is the iPhone 12 Pro. And I'll link everything that I'm sharing inside my bag as well. It'll be all listed below. I'll try to find my phone case for you guys. It is um, roses and it's by Case to Five. And I love it. It's protecting my phone personally, like really well. Um, I've dropped, I dropped my phone quite a bit and my screen never cracked. So that's good. Um, and then I have this little compact, which I use as a like mirror more so than the product inside. So this is my Dior compact. It has highlighter in, which I use like pretty much on the daily. But I like to take one of my compacts with me that whether it's like a bronzer or anything that has a mirror and I'll just pop it in my bag. I love this particular one because it's just such pretty packaging. It's um, patent and then it like has the Dior logo on it. And this highlighter is what I've been wearing recently. I'm not sure if you could kind of see it through the, like on the camera if it's gonna translate well, but you guys, this highlighter is insane. Loved it so much. And this is in the shade One Nude Glow. So pretty and the packaging is insanely good. They also have bronzers if you're looking for a cute bronzer with packaging. Um, I've heard great things about that as well. Moving on, I have my car keys. I put this little cover on it, so it just makes it a little bit more aesthetic. I mean, why not? It's from Amazon. So um, they make them for all different car models. So you could just um, search on Amazon your car model and then um, with like a key cover and then you could get one to cover your keys if you want something a little bit more aesthetic. I mean, um, it's just something really cute when you look, glance in your bag, it's all like, aesthetically pleasing. I, know, I just thought this was too cute. I saw this on TikTok and I'm like, I gotta get that. So that's my car key. And then let's see what else. Oh, I have a little perfume sample. This is the Baccarat Rouge 540. This is, I have like a little bit left in here, but this is so tiny, which is great. It doesn't take up a lot of room and space in my bag. So I just slip this right in. It barely takes up any space. This smells so amazing, I can't like say enough, but speaking of the Baccarat Rouge 540, I wanted to share that I actually found, but I found this perfume, this is Dime Beauty, this is not sponsored, although I did get you guys a coupon code, and um, this smells almost identical. I got this like yesterday, so I just thought I'd mention it. Um, so you could even like place if you have like a larger tote bag or something, but this definitely would not fit in my bag. They do have a mini size in a sampler set. If you want something small, they do sell this one in like a five piece set with like this one is included, but this is the one I'm going to link it below that smells exactly like Baccarat 540. So if you don't want to splurge, I didn't buy the full size Baccarat. That was just like for, it was like what, three or $400, which I was planning to like just think about and maybe during the holidays get one, but truly this is like uh, just as amazing and it's clean ingredients, which I love too about the dime fragrances. So that's why I bought this. I bought it last week and it came in yesterday. It's so good. So yeah, um, definitely check this out. It's insanely good. Smells so luxe and just trust me, it smells amazing. So definitely excited to find that for you guys and then um, 
I have just like my wallet. This is a Chanel like flap wall. Again, I still keep like the cover over the little logo just like until it comes off or peels off on its own. I just keep it on there, but it's just like a little card holder. Um, and then the back has like a little flap and I just have all my cards and cash inside here. But um, yeah, you could see for reference on size, like it's a pretty decent size compared to the bag. So what I will say is, um, I have a few other items that I just wanted to share that fit in the bag, but you would have to like reconfigure. I wouldn't be able to add these in addition to what I just shared. But for example, like I have this Rare Beauty Compact right here. This is so darling. Like I would probably keep this more so in like a tote bag, but if you wanted to take this in the Dior Caro bag, I totally could fit it in there. It just is bulkier. But this is pretty lightweight though. What this is, is a touch up kit. So it has blotting sheets and this powder puff, which has um, powder infused in the puff. So it just activates by patting it into your skin and then you're good to go. And then you could blot first. And it's in this like super chic and pretty packaging. Um, so that will fit inside for sure. You just would have to eliminate, say, the hand sanitizer or hold on to your phone maybe and not put it inside. Um, that's also an option. Like I said, what I already shared what was inside was quite a bit of essentials. Um, and then if you want to downsize on the wall a little bit more, because this is a little bit thicker than um, some say like flatter card cases, like this one from Marc Jacobs I got recently from Nordstrom Rack. This also would fit inside and this would probably free up some space actually if I use this. Um, so there you go, you could see. It is a little bit taller though than the Chanel one. So I don't know, I mean, it's a little bit thinner though I would say. But yeah, that's just another option, which is really pretty for looking for a cute card case to downsize. Like if you have like a chunkier wallet, this is a nice option in some of your smaller bags. And then of course, like if I want to do my sunglasses, this is like one of my favorite pairs of sunnies. They're like one of my go-tos. And um, these, again, I would probably either have to like swap out the hand sanitizer or my phone or again, downsize on the wallet and not do the Chanel, maybe do like this thinner one. So if I wanted to fit my sunglasses, you totally can. Again, it just all depends on, um, as far as like now, this is kind of like going into the review portion, but it really just depends on your needs and your lifestyle, uh, what you wanna carry with you and what you're doing for that day that you want to take the bag with you. So as far as the bag goes, I wanna first chat about how versatile it really is. So you can really take it from day to night. Um, my mom wears hers quite a bit when she went to Palm Beach. My mom wore it out to lunch and then she would wear it out to dinner. Like it's very versatile from day to night. It also goes with so many outfits. It's really is such a bag that could just mix well with so many different dresses, tops, um, all the way from like just wearing jeans and a tee and then elevating it with this bag all the way to like a really pretty dress for out to dinner. Um, it just is such a great bag and the color, this is the Rose Devons as I mentioned earlier and this color just really works well with so many other colors. And um, when I, my mom had hers again, I would like, you know, be doing try-ons and stuff and just borrow it and see like what goes in my wardrobe. This is one of the bags out of my whole handbag collection that truly just mixes in so well with my wardrobe and is so usable with so many different outfits. Um, I feel like it's a very underrated bag as well. I feel like I don't see too many people wearing it. So I definitely also love that factor. Sometimes it's just nice to have something a little bit different and this is definitely that. Um, so definitely very underrated. I feel like it doesn't get talked about like I said there's not even that many reviews on it and um, I just think it's such a beautiful bag so if you're looking for a very classy very timeless bag I truly think that this is a nice option to go especially if you don't want to spend quite as much as say a Chanel flat bag or something like that it's very comparable to the whole silhouette of one obviously not the whole look but just like the whole you know a flat bag kind of style if you're looking for that kind of bag um, that could go crossbody, that could go over your shoulder, that could go on the crook of your arm, this is gonna be that bag. So I definitely say that this is such a great bag. Um, 
I have to say the only like con like or like negative about this bag is the size. Again, you could see how much I could fit in here. However, if you're a person that wants to take like a water bottle with you or an extra cardigan, I mean, of course, you're not gonna be able to take that with this bag, but that's what like say a tote bag is for, which is a totally different vibe. The only thing I could say is actually the only um, solution if you're worried about sizing is maybe consider then sizing up to the media. So I'm not sure how that would be cross body, but if you're open to it, just wearing a double on over your shoulder or a long ways on your shoulder, I think that would be a beautiful option as well. Um, but I personally still, I do not regret getting the small whatsoever. I still really, really am happy with it. Um, don't, do not regret that decision at all. I'm, I'm like, so thrilled that I got this bag and just finally got it. Cause when I, I was actually gonna get this a few months ago and then they were sold out. Um, so I just waited and then I just randomly saw it was in stock one day and I got it. Um, another fun thing too, I just wanted to share is that um, actually the same month that my mom got her bag, I bought this Dior scarf right here. Um, this is, so I got this, yeah, back in November of 2021. And I think these also add a fun little girly element to the bag. I mean, the bag is already really classy and girly, but I love they could even elevate it a little bit more, make it a little bit more different. They have these really pretty scarves on the Dior website and they're just so pretty. I have this one that I got, like I said, that was the first one I got. And then I got a second one that has like roses print on it, which is also really cute. But I think this coloring goes well with this bag in particular. I'll show you guys a close up of what it looks like tied on here, but it is really pretty. And I love like the hound suit on this particular one. I believe this one is still in stock. Um, like I said, cause I got it like a long time ago, but it definitely is such a classic scarf. And I even could tie it on my, um, I tie it actually, you could see, oh, I actually have my other Dior one right on this bag here. This bag was like under hundred dollars and I still put my Dior scarves and mix and match like, you know, with different price points. So you could totally do that to elevate a bag or you could put it on like the, I see people wrap it around the handle of their lady Dior. So there's so many things you could do with these scarves too, which is what I wanna add on about this bag. Oh, and then one other thing I wanna mention is the weight of the bag. Initially, like it is not a heavy bag at all. Um, it's not like it weighs you down. I will say the chain itself maybe has a little weight to it, um, but the bag itself is not like weighty. I can't say enough. I'm like passionate about this bag. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any other questions about this Dior Carol bag, let me know in the comment section. If you own the bag, let me know how you like it, if you love it or if you regret it. Let me know your thoughts on it. But yeah, overall, can't say enough about it and I will have all the details in the description box along with all the links to my social medias and um, my Instagram, my TikTok, all that fun stuff. And if you wanna sign up for my Pink and Girly Finds newsletter that goes out every single Friday, it's just exclusive to my newsletter followers. I also give a recap of everything I posted for the week. So if you wanna be included on that list, definitely sign up below to be on this week's newsletter. And that is gonna be it for my little review and what's in my bag, I just love these videos. So let me know, thumbs up this video if you wanna see more what's in my bag videos. I can surely do them on some other um, handbags if you ever have a request for anything, even not handbag related, definitely leave that in the comment section below. And I will see you all in my next video very soon. Love you guys, bye.